Okay, and while out on my island in Bruca, I will show you a couple of places, you know, my picnic places. Those are the islands, that nearby islands that I went to for my picnic with my family. I will also show you the Jomad entrance because Jomad entrance is, is just where where my island lies, just within those reefs. And it is also one of the islands that we have gone to for our picnic. Uh, the, where, where the island where Jomad entrance is, and that's the Panua uh, Epona. It's a long, long island, and so it's a it's a narrow passage that has now become the 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 international sea passage uh, entrance. So that's where the all the international uh, ships and steamers pass, cargo ships pass through to get into Port Mosby, or into Papua New Guinea and out as well to go out that way, go in Australia way. And I think other other international ports as well. If I can be able to find some wreckage of some steamers before uh, who were passing through the Jomad uh, entrance passage and somehow they went aground. Yeah. But uh, I will zoom down by Google Map to show you some of those places. Great. This is Great Barrier Reef here. You continue going down this way, you're going to Australia. All right, so this is Great Barrier Reef, uh, and this is where we come to for picnic. All right, so this place here, that's um, Kokoluba, that's, uh, this one, Dachau. Dachau Island, uh, we call it uh, Panu Lualuala because it's in the middle, but Lualuala is middle, and this is Panu Buana. And because it's, uh, it's Great Barrier Reef, you know, there are a lot of sharks. And my people come and fish here for dive for sea cucumber, and uh, they've had a lot of problems with sharks. Uh, actually, one one was one died, bitten by shark. Uh, the other two got their hands, arms uh, cut off, and a few others got their legs uh, bitten by barracuda. Yeah, so it's quite dangerous when we come fishing here, and we always on the lookout for the sharks and in group and close to our dinghies or canoes. You go any further out or you are risking yourself to the sharks. Okay, but that's where we came for the picnics. This one, this island here, Panubuana used to have plantation, coconut plantation, before, in the colonial times. And I don't know who owns those plantations, uh, but uh, there were there were laborers that came and were staying here to, to work the plantation. This is our picnic uh, time at Panubuana Island. And uh, I just wish to advise that uh, in this video you will see a turtle being slaughtered. So we had a turtle meat and intestine and yeah. And I just wish to advise that you know turtle has been our main more or less like staple food and it has been our main source of protein, you know, ever since. Uh, every time we live on our Brook Island, whenever we go out to the islands, out islands where uh, turtle is one of for the protein sauce that we sought after. Uh, we also get the eggs. So we love, we love eating that one, the eggs and the turtle meat. Yeah, so just advise that, you know. We do have uh, somebody from Book Island who is doing turtle management. So they do the turtle count and the turtle sagging as well and some others. So, so there are some roads that are put out. Uh, to all the communities within the Mishima district, or Mishima Island itself, uh, Mishima mainland, and as well as the, the small islands like my island. Uh, so we have some rules out there so that every time when we go out, at least we we can get one only. Uh, unless it is going to be for some bigger fishing, bigger uh, traditional feast, then maybe you can go beyond one. Uh, but yes, yeah, so we do have those rules uh, as part of our conservation, preservation of settle, and because it is one of our staple protein source, uh, we do have rules to, to protect uh, for its conservation. Yes, so I just wish to advise. Hello, uh, well, I'm making us now. I like to bring us now in a picnic, solar panel, light cabin. Ah, dim dim. Dim dim, okay. Ini nak nak solar ni kalau poti, oh ini nak kalau kehilu, ini apa apa ni tuh hilir, yuk masuk mana hulk, masuk kat kita, oh kasi, 
sinau pakana ina ia te hit pane sin sin na bonai o sipin bag te hit pane tam te ikon boso bulin o giawa bos maria nimblem gwen Aku kata mimi pot pot eh hanu lili kare, mulu ka wasa na tekana, ah toe te toe, toe te awo awo ituke, ma hanu guni ahe, iya ka, te ma ku mul tu kanim, takite, kalu boi tabe mul tu kan, ah boi nai. Gabu eh. Ikan bay. Ada ni. Ada lah lain. Ada ikan bay. Ada ni. Hah. Wah terlalu ni tak mial. Yeah. Okay, they're going to let it go, and you're going to stay with the tetra. I don't want that. I don't want that. I want to stay with the tetra. Ah, he's the one. Ah. Oh. Hold it, boy. Go, hold it, hold it. Hold it, hold it. Whoa! My magic arrow is going to move. Eh nak aku buat ni? Aku ke disco. Oh, ke disco. Ah. Nanti ya. Kau tak mela aku buat ni. Nau, nau dia. Hahaha. Ambil saya nak drink mati. Nak kau nak tahu ya? Tahu kan? Tahu kan? Tahu kan? Ayat tahu loh heh dia. Saya buat ni lor ni lor ni mewah kan aku. So yeah, my grandma do one, you know. This is turtle meat. This is turtle meat. The couple is trained group of islands. And this is called Panu Buen. Yeah, we can see the selenium. This is turtle intestine. This is turtle intestine. And this is the turtle meat. 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 And this is... This is the grease. You see, it's green. It's green. We call it army. The army's uniform is green. Okay, come, come, and you see. So now they are all in here. I'm making a stew. Turtle, they call it turtle stew, turtle meat stew. Oh, Miranda, please, you are going to put sand on my. Yeah, okay, sit down, sit down. Okay. And now I put uh, the soup flavor. So now it's. Uh, now it's good. I think it's going to really smell and taste good. Awesome. See? Awesome. Now I put it here. It's going to be awesome. Oh, oh Mozambique. <laughs> see? Mozambique. Okay. You know, just spray it across, across the meat on the, on the top. And then like this. Oh, but if you should have some chili, you know. Uh, that would be great. Put the chili. That would be great. Yeah. You see? Yeah. You see? You see? Oh, look at Oh, yummy. I'm a dead. I'm a dead. I just want to eat it now. Even if it's not cooked, I want to eat it. Right now. Right away. Whoa. Me and Miranda, we're going to eat. Yummy. Yum. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. It's not cooked. Yeah. Don't put one. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, put it. You want to see all these ones here? You must scrape it. Don't waste anything. Eh? We are on the island. We are in in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Okay, okay, this now, this now. Don't get it. 
Okay, now it's all finished. Then I am going to I'm going to cover this. I'm going to cover this and then oh yeah, it's heavy. I'm going to wrap it with the foil. Okay, then uh, come back after after about half an hour or one hour and see the scene. Okay, thank you. Oh, I don't go see that. Cool guy. Oh, sorry, no funny me. Been one. Back it there. Look at now. How na here no? But all was on cover pack. Ah, Yeah. Hey, must be cooking. Come now, are you cooking? Hey, I am Oh, we got to see what we have here. Mama, take a turn. Look, 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 I don't know what I'm saying. I'm not sure 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 Kai <laughs> Ah, I'm going to go 
Panu ane mana kiri awe. Panu ane Life on the island. Simple. Is it? Oh. Yeah. Wow. Kuli akan hian. Daddy, his mommy and Gwenny Making coconut leaf while building the house. And Mari that too. And I'm too married at Mama. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, my nice idea. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, do it, and I see. Tava, tava, tava. Tava. Ah. Ya, ano. Ya, Wala pun kira, pun kira tahu bayi, bayi paling kuat panakan, bayi minyak tu ton. Kalau terlalu kena ini, apa aja? Nasi mana ni kita ni bah, ni bah, itu kan aku hah aku kah. Bukan kita perlu one side, ikut aku hah tahu nih aje. Jangan aku wash, jalan ya, jalan ya kau nih. Oh, 
Satu. Ini mana yang lalu ane ane abang nital. Pagi nak pagi nak. Oh iya kai. Kau kau ni wang wang. Eh tu no aku tu ni kote. Eh Juni abu lagi abu. Eh ni tu bapa abu abu nasi ni pamu aru wey. Oh, mau ke pekerana oh? Ini aku yang jawab. Ada tulak dia lah tu, saya lau. Hei, kakak demi kau jadi internet. Aduh wow, oh ini kau nama sibi ya, tidak melulu. Oh, apa sahaja kau nak mobil mana ni wah? Yang mana 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 wah? Ini ini warga lain kau, siapa? Eh, jadi ada apa? Wah, jadi ada apa? Eh, pus, eh ini susu kate. Kau batu apa ni? Oh, jadi ada tak kau warga lain? Nggak sihiri. Ibu, ibu. Oh, naik babi aku nak. Iya, iya, iya. Nanti semua kan aku baru nanti. Oh, baru wow. Kalau nak kalah kalah, nak kirimah malu ya. Baik, wali kalau aku nak ikut kesian. Ya, lalu hiji go. Aku panu lagi. Oh, wow, wow. Oh, wow, wow. Ya, wujud nari wajib go dia ya tu. Kalau bos junior, junior betul. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good look. Kusaga, one by one. When we start looking at the one crowd. Oh, it's on fish, it's on. Ah, we're captain here, captain. Captain the junior. No, no. Bawa ke umpan ibu di depan ni. Bawa ni mila kat sini. Bawa buat entah he. Bukan nak kaya wak ausan. Abang tak kalau tak nak kram. Kalau yang mana buat itu kau ya. Ah, Junior, you your brother.
Ya, 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 Hey Junior, you have to make report here. Come and report. <laughs> How's that journey? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, yesterday what I When you put sleep? Hmm? You put sleep at where? When are you at? No. Uh, at where? Uh, Kakamo. Oh. Uh. Yeah, and just this morning we had breakfast then okay. <laughs> and our captain. <laughs> captain Ramarangi. But you took over when you were about to launch Ida. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> mm. You have you and him hat. Go put it in the salt water. I mean, mm -hmm. make it cool. Mm -hmm. Romangi. The lighter. Come on. That one, and we come down to this one. This is the one that I was talking about. This is the current uh, well-known, talked about Jomad Entrance. Jomad Entrance is the International Sea, sea Passage. Uh, so this is where the steamers, uh, the big, big vessels, container ships, uh, carrying either containers or other cargoes or warheads, and this is where they pass through. Uh, this one. There are two two passages. One on the on the right and one on the left. This one is a little bit narrow, so it's not normally used. Uh, but this one is. And this is the jo Jomad Island or Panua Yapona, uh, Lon Lon Island, or we call it also Lempa Mimina. This Lempa means light, so because this is where the lighthouse is for for this passage here. Okay, if I zoom in closer, you will see there is a remnant of the wreckage of of a ship okay so you can see right on the camera yeah there this one this is one of these cargo cargo ships um, i hear they said it's a fission trader uh, it was carrying sugar i don't know whether it's the cane or the sugar itself and i think that's coming from that time uh, yeah, cans in Australia, they were doing sugar, and I don't know whether Fiji too was doing sugar. Yeah, planting sugar canes. Yeah, but that's a remnant. And I know this because I was a uh, baby, I was small when I came with my relatives to unload cargoes from here, and the cargoes were ours then. Uh, well, we had a good time, you know, on the beach here, on this Jomad, Jomad, Jomad Island with all the rice and meat and sugar from that uh, wreckage here. Yeah. And this is where we were. Uh, unfortunately, there is a big cloud cover, so we cannot zoom in to see the site of the light lighthouse. 
Okay, so this is the Jomad entrance. Uh, it has now been approved by the IMO, IMO is an international maritime organization. As a PSSA is a particularly sensitive sea area, particularly sensitive sea area, and that's uh, due to its um, marine biodiversity, in very rich marine biodiversity and ecosystem, and as well as for scientific inter importance. Uh, yes, so 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 that's uh, now the passage has been declared and as a PSSA. All right, so that's that's that uh, Jomad entrance. Uh, it comes all the way up here, and you further. Further in, inside, you will now come to Panayati, the Panayati Islands here. Yeah, so Jomad entrance, this this is Jomad entrance actually, the name. Uh, but unfortunately, unfortunately, I think the name carries it all the way through. But otherwise, the name should stop somewhere here. And that's Jomad entrance, and this one should have another name. And it goes up to, to the other side, and it should have another name, and it goes on here. Yeah. Yep. Anyway, okay, so that's uh, that's that, and this is part of the islands that we come for fishing, diving for sea cucumber and other shells, fishing also, and uh, very rich in marine resource, you know, um, a lot of turtles here, and actually Jomad Island, that's where the turtles come in, come up and lay eggs. This, you know, during Christmas period, you come here, you will see like twenty, thirty. 30 uh, turtles coming up to lay egg in, in a night, one night. And this is where they come and lay egg, and that's where we come and get some turtles and some eggs. Uh, but yes, now we are protecting the, those uh, turtles. Yeah. It's now an, an endangered species, so we take care of that. And not only that, to us it doesn't really matter whether it's endangered or not, uh, but what matters is our food source, and so we have to protect it so that we can continue to have it. Uh, for the rest of our lives for this generation and generation after. All right, so this passage here, there's a, there's a historical story that I want to tell about this passage. This is Goana Passage. And I don't know why the ships didn't come here and they, they choose to now go through this uh, narrow passage here. This one's a little bit wider. They would have used this one, but maybe it may be due to this story that I'm just about to tell, which makes it very, very dangerous to, to pass through here. Okay, so this can get rough, and when it becomes rough, it is rough. And it has a story why it has to get rough. Uh, but of course, sometimes by nature it gets, it gets rough. But it can become rough too if you don't obey the taboos that are put you know, for crossing this, uh, this passage, go on a passage. Uh, before, we, before we pass on from both sides, we have to come here and prepare. We have to toilet, we have to do whatever, cook and eat and throw rubbish, whatever, we have to do it here and on this side. Uh, let the kids go to sleep here before we cross this one. So when we are crossing, we cross in silence most of the time. No throwing of rubbish, no talking unnecessarily, no joking, no laughing, nothing. No going to toilet, nothing, no singing. You know, because if, if we do that, all of a sudden, the current will become rough and strong and it can change too. If it's in our favor, it will change and it will be against us. And when it becomes strong, it will cause the waves now to rise, and it will become really rough. And that has been that it has been that you know since ever since you know from our, our ancestral times to to today, and it's, today is still it's still there. You hear some young generation, some boys who have dived and traveled these areas here and this reef, they will tell you the story. With that, I have shown you everything that I wanted to show you. And that was uh, the final part of uh, the vacation, uh, part four. And that concludes everything on my vacation. And I hope you have enjoyed uh, watching from the part one all the way to now part four. And if you did, uh, please, uh, if you can subscribe and uh, give it a like if you have not done so. Thank you very much. Uh,